Hey everyone and welcome back to another movie review. Today I'll be reviewing the new Pixar film Finding Dory. So Finding Dory is a long awaited sequel to the classic Pixar film Finding Nemo which we all grew up with and love. It's one of my favourite Pixar films, it's one of my favourite animated films of all time. It's just got a lot of heart and a lot of uh, soul to it and it's very funny and just a very original and beloved Pixar film. So I've been really excited to see Finding Dory because she is one of the best characters from the first film. She's a very funny character and it's interesting to see her carry a whole film now rather than kind of be a side character. So the film was written and directed by Andrew Stanton which is great because he did the first film. He also did Wally, -E, so he's a really solid Pixar director. Uh, we also had Thomas Newman come back for the music. He's one of my favorite composers so that was good. And Ellen DeGeneres is back as um, Dory as well as Albert Brooks who plays Marlon in both films. So plot wise the film is similar and different at the same time to Finding Nemo. Um, it's about Dory trying to find her parents and obviously she's got short term memory loss so she forgot all about them during the first film and she starts kind of having visions of you know her childhood and where she grew up so she's kind of off on this um, adventure to cross the ocean to get to California and her parents are in this marine institute there and she's kind of just got to navigate her way through and find her parents with the help of these new characters as well as a few old characters like Marlon and Nemo. So the things that the film did really well was introducing new characters instead of relying on a lot of old characters like our favourites from the original film because it would just make us think of the original instead of having new ideas so it was cool to see characters like Hank the Octopus who was voiced by Ed O'Neill. I think he was one of the best looking Pixar characters I've ever seen. Uh, you also had Ty Burrell who voiced the um, beluga whale which was a really cool character and you had this whale shark called Destiny and they were all really cool additions to the um, Finding Nemo universe so it was good to see some new characters that really had some weight behind them like like the characters of um, Bruce and the other sharks in the first film. I think the voice casting was really well done here. I mean Ellen uh, really played Dory great again like she did in the first film. You don't really even think of it as Ellen, you just think of Dory as her character and um, Albert Brooks as Marlon was great again. There is a new voice for Nemo because it's been like 13 years so the first the original kid's voice has changed but you didn't really notice it. I think it was pretty much perfect, exactly the same as the original voice even though Nemo and Marlon kind of are sidelined in this film because it's mainly focusing on Dory. So I think the film kind of really picked up steam when it got to the Marine Life Institute. I felt like the first 15-20 minutes were a bit boring and didn't really know where the film was going because it kind of you know showed flashbacks to Dory, Dory's childhood as well as a few things from the first film. This film is set one year after the first film um, but we do see a few things from the first film and it just kind of um, makes you want to see something new and pick up the pace so that was why it was good when it got to this Marine Life Institute. I feel like the film was really fast and it kind of um, skipped a lot of things as well like on the way to the Marine Life Institute there's one scene with um, Crush the turtle from the first film and they're pretty much in a matter of minutes they're across the ocean from the Great Barrier Reef to California which I found kind of funny because the whole first film is just a journey from the Great Barrier Reef to Sydney Harbour and it takes the whole film to get there whereas this film is a much longer journey and it gets there in one scene but I suppose they have to do that because they want the majority of the film set in this Marine Life Institute. So a lot of this film actually takes place outside of water as well so it's interesting the way that they could come up with Dory traveling around in like a cup of water and Hank the octopus being able to transport her. I thought that was clever the way they could use him as a ways of getting around this institute without everything just being in the water. It's definitely not as good as the first film. I really love that first movie but it's definitely a worthy sequel. Um, Pixar have been good with their sequels and bad. I mean the two Toy Story sequels were fantastic I thought. Um, Cars 2 was not good really at all. Uh, Monsters University was good. I think this is probably a better sequel than Monsters University in Cars 2 but not quite up to the Toy Story um, standard of sequels. The animation was really great. I mean they didn't want to make it look too different to the first film so it had that similar look and feel but just the colours were very vibrant and the whole look of the film and all the characters, the way they moved and the way that light reflects off water in this film, everything just looks fantastic. And speaking of the animation, you have to talk about the short film called Piper, which shows um, briefly before the film. So if you're going to see this, definitely get there on time because you don't want to miss the short film. It was some of the best animation I've ever seen, actually. It looked very realistic and it's a very cute little story that just kind of set the pace for the film. So it's probably one of their best short films they've done in years, actually. So as I said, there are similarities to the first film, but it was also great how they incorporated like a lot of new ideas as well so they didn't just rely on the same kind of story to get where they had to get. So guys I really enjoyed Finding Dory, um, definitely worth seeing, a worthy sequel, really funny moments, sad moments and just does what Pixar does so well so I'm going to give Finding Dory an A-. 
So definitely go and check this out if you're a fan of the first film or you're a Pixar fan because you'll definitely enjoy it. Just don't expect it to be as great as the first film. So thanks guys for watching my quick review on Finding Dory. So if you like this, you can subscribe to my channel and see previous reviews. I'll have future reviews and Blu-ray unboxings and things like that coming soon as well. So thanks for watching. Bye.